All right, let's switch tracks here, and we're going to talk a little bit about image planes. And they're very, very similar to the image planes in ZBrush. So it's basically going to be sculpting with a front, a side image, top and bottom image if you want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the comma key, go to project here, and we'll load up Dynamesh Sphere 128. And we'll just start with a basic sphere. So of course we have, and if you wanted to make this from scratch, you would select a polyplane, you would go over here to geometry, dynamesh, turn on dynamesh with the resolution of 128, I'll go ahead and turn blur down, and turn X symmetry on in transform so you're active across the X symmetry. So this is already set up for you to win because the Z is forward, you're in good shape, you got the floor turned on, Y is up. So you're firing on all, all cylinders here. So let's talk about how to set up image planes. So one thing we haven't talked about at all is the draw menu over here. And just really quickly, just to kind of demonstrate, I'm going to do a, just a very quick skull kind of freehand so we can kind of get oriented in space here. And I also want to talk about uh, perspective in the draw menu a little bit. So we've got a really, really rudimentary skull here. There we go. So now when we're talking about perspective, we have perspective on right now, so you're going to see if I turn perspective off, it turns into an orthographic type view. So if you have two horns going out and you turn it to the side, if you have perspective on, this horn is going to be smaller because it's farther away from you in space, and this horn is going to be larger because it's closer. Same thing if you had hands or arms. If you turn perspective off, you're going to see this horn is the same size as this horn because there is no perspective uh, when you have uh, perspective turned off. Now with perspective turned on, you're going to notice uh, I, I have perspective turned on. Let's go ahead and elongate his face here. Let's turn it into like a cow skull here. There we go. So now that we have a cow skull, kind of, fox cow skull, we have perspective turned on. You're going to notice as I go from the middle of my screen over to the left side of my screen, see how it kind of starts rotating a little bit? I'm not, I'm not rotating at all. I'm just moving it to the sides of my screen. If you don't want that to happen, because I, you know, I, don't, I can kind of throw you off if you have, and we'll get into this in a, bit, in a bit, where we'd bring in Spotlight to use as reference planes as well. You're going to see if I, if, I have a four, if I have a front view with perspective turned on over here, it's going to look like he's looking to the side. I can correct that by rotating, but another thing you can do is go over here and turn off or turn on Align to Object. This way it's still in perspective. I can still toggle perspective on and off, but it's not going to warp it as I move it to either side of the... Uh, document. So that's just one in interesting thing. Uh, while we're in the draw menu, we can talk about the floor here. So here's our floor button. It's also over here. You can turn floor on and off. If you hover over, you're going to see the shortcut for that is shift P. And you can also turn on these other planes. So we're right now by default, the Y floor. So that's the up and down plane is visible. You can turn on X and you can turn on Z. So you can have those planes visible as well. You can also increase or decrease your grid size, and that'll come into play when we get into rendering. So basically, when I hit this BPR render, sneak preview, it's going to cast a shadow. Go ahead and turn off X and Z here. Um, if your grid size is really small and you turn on BPR, it's only going to cast a shadow where that grid is. It's going to act as a shadow catcher floor plane, but we have to make our grid size bigger in order to catch the complete shadow. And of course, you have to move a little bit or update your model a little bit so BPR will update as well. There you go. So now it'll capture the whole shadow. Anyways, we're not talking about rendering right now.